Welcome back to the Solo Promoter YouTube channel, and it is time for some 2139 action. I believe this is the, uh, uh, is this the first card that I have filmed? Uh, I think so, for 2139. Um, yeah, I've been, uh, I've been playing, but I haven't been posting, uh, in terms of, of making videos. And I just kind of felt like, um, I was looking at it as like, ah, I gotta get out all this stuff in order to film and film this. And I was like, you know what? I just want to play as I adjust the camera here. Uh, I just want to play. And uh, so I've been playing, um, but I do want to, you know, put some 2139 action uh, out on the uh, out on the on the channel. So this is card number uh, 502, 2139 502, and um, just sort of a uh, nothing special. It's not a super card or anything like that. Although the main event uh, will be Titan Power uh, defending his interplanetary championship against Demon Godsend. Um, so we have that to look forward to. Uh, but we open up with uh, the natives of Castalex, uh, just the natives, already standing in the ring. And then their opponents, Military Force, uh, who I don't know if I've necessarily had them as a tag team before. I think I must have because they were already in my uh, Obsidian program. Um, but uh, Tharkas actually had some great success with Psy. But will he have it with Murtek? Uh, I don't know. Uh, but Murtek marches out with Tharkas, and Murtek says, uh, it's so great to have Kraken on our team. Uh, that's right, I said Kraken, and I'm going to keep saying Kraken. Uh, it's so great having Kraken on our team, and uh, uh, Murtek says, I've been able to give him so much good advice uh, when it comes to conquering, and he's, you know, we, we're really best friends, and uh, Tharkas is like, who oh boy. Oh boy, this guy. Anyway, we've got uh, Murtak the Merciless versus Igor to start things off. And uh, let's see. Uh, the natives will be red and um, the military force will be blue. And uh, Igor is going to start things off with a face rake. Uh, but Murtak is going to reverse it with a bite to the forehead. Uh, but uh, Igor is going to reverse that. Uh, with a side headlock, and Murtak's going to reverse that with a merciless missile drop kick, and that hits Igor's pin. So uh, here comes um, Crud in to try and save him, but the roll is a nine. Could this give uh, Murtak a victory here? The target four, the roll a nine. No, nope, he's able to kick out, uh, but Murtak uh, follows it with a vaulting neck snap. Uh, down three, uh, elbow drop two, uh, Igor is going to try and make the tag, needs a six or less, does not get it, uh, Igor continuing, uh, rapid punches two, three, hurt two, Igor going to try and tag out, he does, able to do it, in comes Crud, Crud comes in on level one, and hits a body slam, choice C, uh, going to go for the agility move. This will work on a nine or less, and it does. Murtak is in trouble. He is down. Tharkas saying, you should have tagged me, you idiot. Uh, three out of the ring. Crud's going to roll up instead. Uh, shoulder tackle two. It's a power move. Uh, and Crud actually has better power than Murtak. So Murtak rolls on level two. He is able to reverse it. Choke hold. Uh, three hurts two. Crud going to try and tag out to keep the momentum. Not able to do it. Uh, Murtak... Uh, is going to, uh, Tharkas just basically tags himself in and he will roll on level two. Uh, dig knee into hip two, three, hurt two, crud, trying to make the tag. He's able to do it. Here comes Igor. Igor comes in on level one, punch to the face two, uh, hurts two on Tharkas. Camel clutch two, four, down three, uh, four, flying missile three, four, down three. Tharkas gonna leave the ring. He he rolls an A, A-10. Um, the uh, opponent comes out of the ring and tries to hit you with an object like a steel chair. Uh, the referee comes out. So Igor could get disqualified here if he rolls snake eyes. He is not disqualified. He uh, throws Tharkas back in the ring. Going to roll on level three. Nerve clamp, three, add one. Tharkas is hurt. Uh, Crud tags in. 
hoping to take over here. Uh, cast clothesline three, four, down three, Darkus bailing out of the ring again. He's got an A and nine. He crawls helplessly back in. I rolled the wrong die, but that's Natives Are Restless, zero. Uh, they're going to hang on to their pin save, but the target will be three. Uh, the roll is a nine. And, oh, that was a tag move. So Igor is now in. The roll is a two. Death jump. Igor climbing up. Uh, Tharkis has a B. B2. Oh, no. They hit the ref. The ref is down. And he is down for five moves. And uh, let's see. We're going to roll here to see who's in control. It is an even number. Uh, so uh, that is um, the opponent is distracted by the referee being down. Roll on level three offense. So Tharkis uh will roll out of the ring tosses igor out of the ring this is the first move uh out of the ring c6 he crawls helplessly back in tharkis rolls on level three and throws him out of the ring again that's the second move uh and we've got a c5 uh the wrestler with the better ring rating that's going to be tharkis uh he's going to roll on level three uh four ravenger gutbuster that's the third move uh, five, down three, another Ravenger Gust Buster. That's the fourth move. Uh, one, Igor going to try and tag. Uh, not able to do it. Here comes the fifth move by Tharkas. Uh, Conqueror's Clutch, three, four, down three. Igor is going to bail out of the ring. The ref is back up. C6, he crawls helplessly back in. Tharkas, Conqueror's Clutch, three, two. That's going to be... Uh, the pin for Igor, they're going to use their other pin save, and it's a seven, so the target is five, and that is it. With the Conqueror's Clutch, Military Force wins the day uh, over the Natives. All right, we'll be right back with our next match. Welcome back to the Solo Promoter YouTube channel and uh, our next match, and this is going to be our first look at newcomer uh, Nakano Takeko uh, taking on Catfight, uh, Catfight a stalwart uh, here in the GWF, uh, so a good first challenge for uh, Nak uh, Nakano. So, uh, Nakano's going to be red, Catfight will be blue, and Nakano's going to start things off. Chicken Wing Choice B... Um, her agility is good. Her turnbuckle is an A. Uh, gonna go for turnbuckle. Could be a mistake. Uh, cat fight whipped into the turnbuckle. It certainly is. This is gonna be a pin attempt with a roll of two, four or less. Able to kick out there. Cat fight, uh, looking to uh, make a statement. Tosses uh, Nakano out of the ring. She's got a B, and uh, the roll is a 9, so she crawls helplessly back in. Catfight following it up by just throwing her out of the ring again. Uh, B5 this time. Uh, Nakano uh, grabs him, smashes him into the announce table. Might be disqualified here. Has a 4. No, not disqualified. Will roll on level 3 offense. Uh, and it goes for a death jump. Catfight with an A, but the roll is a 10. Who has the better agility rating? That's Nakano. So she will win the struggle. Tosses uh, Catfight off and uh, will roll on level 3 offense. Um, it will throw Catfight out of the ring after Catfight did that to her. She's got a B rating, 5. Now Catfight rolling the disqualification and not DQ'd there. We'll roll on level 3. Tornado DDT, 3. 5 hurt, 2. Uh, triple Butterfly Suplex, 3. That's going to be a pin again. The target, 5. The roll of 5. And so with a Triple Butterfly Suplex, Catfight sends uh, Nakano packing uh, in her debut match. All right, uh, we will be right back with our next match. We are back, and here is a match that I was very much looking forward to. Uh, this is Burning Man versus Quagmire. Burning Man's updated card uh, versus Quagmire. Excited to see how the Quagmire card plays. Um, three there. Now, I have to look. I don't think... Um, let me see if I can find where the Animen are in here. Uh, I love that Flounch was uh, included um, in uh, in this. Um, 
Where's Hyla? Hyla is there. Wait, where's Flunch? Flunch had a listing in here. I know they talked about him. Um, is he at the end? Chameleon Creatures. Nosfera. Wait a second. I sh I know he was in here. I know they, they referenced him. Um, Fistorm Hyla. Flaunch by her side. The popular anime mascot may appear with a Tempest and even Quagmire. So we're going to say that Flaunch, one of my favorite characters, is going to appear at ringside with Quagmire. I only give Flaunch a ringside distraction, though. He can't really interfere all that much. Um, and what is, speaking of that, what is his distraction? Because uh, I don't know it off the top of my head. Uh, do I have Tempest? Uh, six. Okay. So a little bit better than average. All right. Quagmire will be blue. Burning Man will be red. And Quagmire is going to start things off here with a forearm swipe. One. Burning Man reverses it uh, into the ropes. Uh, to throw Quagmire into the ropes, turnbuckle, or out of the ring, the opponent must have negative two power. Can't do it. Otherwise, Quagmire delivers short arm clothesline. Two. Sorry, Burning Man. And he is down. Falling head by choice G. Let's see. His death jump is a B. His power is a zero. Going to go for the power. Needs an eight or less. Gets it. Uh, Burning Man in trouble here. Hurts two. Uh, into the ropes. Into the ropes goes Burning Man. He gets a B6. Uh, the opponent drops down. You go again into the chart. Uh, B7. You come up the ropes. The opponent puts you down with a running back elbow. Opponent rolls on level two offense. And uh, power, uh, power slam three, choice E. And uh, try, uh, yeah, let's try uh, agility move. This will work on a nine or less. Ooh, does not work. Burning Man. Able to reverse it with a backbreaker, uh, dazing Quagmire. Uh, four, Bulldog as a power move, though. Quagmire reverses it. Choice E again. This will work on a nine or less. It does. Burning Man uh, hurt two. Uh, four, into the turnbuckle. Burning Man has a B. B6, so it is a reversal, but he cannot throw him in, so that's the short arm clothesline. Uh, or the short clothesline, two. So Burning Man uh, reverses it on level one. Um, running clothesline two, agility. He does have the better agility there. Uh, that is a hurt two. Uh, burning face claw, three. Uh, two, down three. Quagmire in trouble, but not going to leave the ring. Um, toxic inhalation. Uh, so that is, uh, a one, two, exhaustion. Quagmire, uh, hurt two. Four, swinging neckbreaker, choice E. Uh, gonna go for the agility. This will work on a 13 or less. Uh, so yeah, it certainly does work, especially with a roll of two. And Quagmire in trouble, hurt two. Uh, into the ropes. Uh, he's gonna roll up. He's not gonna throw him into the ropes. Smart this time. Headbutt two. Uh, three, hurts two. Into the ropes, gonna roll up instead. Uh, right hook, one. Uh, four, dazed one. Five, running clothesline, two. That will work. Four, dazed one. Uh, six, toxic inhalation. Uh, that brings, actually, I'm going to add three over here because now his finisher is a three. And Quagmire's rolling his pin. So the target three, the roll of 12, so an impressive kick out there. Um, blistering and chest chops, uh, hurts two. Uh, four, swinging neckbreaker, choice E. Again, this will work on 13 or less, and it does. Quagmire, uh, down three. Quagmire's gonna leave the ring this time, and he's got a B8, crawls helplessly back in. Burning Man uh, follows it up with Toxic Inhalation. Uh, now at a four finisher, uh, if he can hit it, hurts two. 
Um, into the ropes, he's going to roll up instead. Right hook, one. Uh, Quagmire reverses it on level one. Elbow hammer, two. Power move, it will work. Burning Man reverses it. Uh, not going to throw him into the ropes. Going to roll up instead. Right hook, one. Three dazed, one. Uh, face shove, one. And dazed, one. Uh, toxic Inhalation, there you go. It is now at a full five finisher. Can't add any more to that. Um, and Quagmire is dazed. Uh, headbutt two, four, dazed one. Man, Quagmire's a beast. Right hook, one, five. Quagmire reverses it with a bear hug. Uh, two, hurts two. Five, choice E. Uh, gonna go for the agility. This will work on a nine or less, and it does. Burning Man, uh, four, down three. Uh, toss across ring, two, four, hurts two. Uh, again, gonna go for the agility. Nine or less is able to do it. Burning Man, uh, three, hurts two. Four, into the turnbuckle. He's got a B rating, and that is a B8. Uh, opponent rolls on level two. Uh, bear hug, uh, hurt two. Six, Swampland Suicide, three, add one. Uh, Burning Man is hurt. Uh, four, into the turnbuckle. Again, he's got a B, and again, it's a B8. So Quagmire rolls into the turnbuckle again. Into the turnbuckle, B. Uh, and it's a B7, so again, uh, he, Quagmire will roll on level two. Into the ropes this time, he's got a B. Ooh, it's a low roll, B3. Uh, Burning Man hits him with a pile driver and will roll on level three offense, choice H. Let's see, his death jump is a C. His agility, though, this will work on a 12 or less. It will work. Quagmire in trouble. Uh, four, dazed one. I guess he's not in that much trouble. Right hook, one. Quagmire reverses it, uh, tosses Burning Man back into the turnbuckle, um, and that is a B9. And uh, there is a Bear Hug 2. Burning Man reverses it on level 1. Uh, headbutt 2. Uh, b -b -b 1. Dazed 1. Uh, four, uh, Bulldog, but it is a power move, so Quagmire reverses it with a Bear Hug. And uh, three, dazed one, uh, snarl and punch one, burning man not scared, blinded by the light, three, add one, quagmire, dazed one by that, right hook one, uh, quagmire reverses on level two, into the ropes goes burning man, uh, B7, opponent rolls on level two offense, bear hug, uh, two, hurt two, uh, into the ropes, Burning Man, B, uh, 7, uh, so another roll on level 2, into the ropes again, B, uh, 10, uh, the wrestler with the better ropes rating, so that's going to be Burning Man, he recovers first, rolls on level 3, 5, Toxic Inhalation, can't add any more, Hurt 2, uh, five, Burning Face Claw, three, two, down three, Quagmire, gonna leave the ring now, he's got a B rating, uh, B5, he, uh, smashes Burning Man into the announce table, will he be disqualified here? Uh, no, he almost was, but he is not disqualified, he's gonna roll on level three, dead weight, three, and that is Burning Man's pin, the target two, uh, the roll is seven, Quagmire, uh, four, dead weight, three, four, down three, uh, out of the ring, tosses Burning Man out of the ring, he's got a B, but rolls low, rolls a floor, both wrestlers roll disqualification, uh, so Burning Man, not disqualified, Quagmire, uh, is disqualified, I was almost gonna have Flaunch roll there, but, uh, did not, so, uh, Burning Man wins, uh, DQ, um, after, uh, we'll say, uh, grinding Burning Man's face into the guardrail. Uh, so Burning Man picks up the DQ win, and I think we have the start of a new feud happening right here. Uh, well, uh, stay tuned. We'll be right back with our next match. We are back, and uh, it is time for our semi-main event. And Diva is out in the middle of the ring, and 
she is said she, she's out here personally uh, to introduce um, the one of the wrestlers in the next match, and she says the man who got a real raw deal uh, at the perennial, uh, getting knocked out of the tournament so early. Um, and uh, tonight, uh, this man is going to prove that he is the real number one contender, and uh, he should get a shot at Musk's uh, Galaxian Championship. And that, of course, is Apex, his fancy foil card here. Um, so Diva at ringside. Uh, but it's not going to be easy because uh, the man that uh, is is uh, going to be facing off against Apex, somebody who would very much as well like a, a title shot, and that is Shane. A win here over Apex uh, could put him in line, um, but we shall see. He, last we saw Shane, he was disqualified in the uh, perennial for uh, using Frontier Justice. So we will see what happens here. Uh, Apex versus Shane. Apex will be red. Shane will be blue. Shane gets a six. Uh, and there's a brain buster, but it is a power move. So Apex will reverse on level two. And he hits the Aetherin Decapitator. Big move on Shane. Four. And that's going to actually catch him. Uh, so the target one, the roll of seven. He's able to kick out. Apex follows up with a power slam. Uh, you may perform this move or roll again on level three offense. Um, this can only this can only occur once on a given turn. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, I think he's gonna go for it. I don't think he's gonna re-roll. I think he's gonna take the three. Shane, uh, two down three. He's gonna leave the ring. You better believe it. Uh, he has an A. Sorry, I turned off this light to get the reflection off the Diva card, but now I can't read. Uh, he rolls out of the ring. He's got an A8. He crawls helplessly back in. Apex rolls a 1. Choice D. Um, what is his power? Is a negative 1. He's going to go for it. Needs an 8 or less. Gets it. Uh, Shane in trouble here. 4. Catches him again, Snake Eyes, and it's over for Shane. No, rolls a seven again. Apex follows that up, uh, choice D. Um, so again, going to go for uh, the power move. It'll work on an eight or less, and it does. Shane uh, with a hurt two. Uh, five, Gladiator Pile Driver three. Six, hurt two. Apex with Ballistics Headbutts three. Hurt two uh, into the ropes. No, he's going to roll up instead because Shane has an A. And good choice. Uh, well, maybe not. No, it's not a good choice because it's a running front spike, which is an agility move. And Shane has the agility. So Shane takes over with a Death Valley driver. And that's going to catch Apex. The target three, the roll of nine. And uh, Shane follows it up with Showdown, a big plus two. Diva hops up onto uh, the, the apron to try and distract, and she is able to do it. Uh, Shane Furious follows up by tossing Apex out of the ring, and he's got an eight, so he's going to crawl helplessly back in. Shane with a spinning heel kick. He is fired up. Hurt two. Um, Death Valley Driver three, six. Hurt two uh, into the turnbuckle. He's going to roll up instead. Backbreaker choice E. Uh, going to go for the agility move. It'll work on an 11 or less. It does. Apex rolls a three. He's going to roll out of the ring. Out of the ring. A five. Both wrestlers roll disqualification. Apex not disqualified. Shane not disqualified, uh, so we'll roll one die here. It is odd, so that's going to be Shane in control, uh, and he hits a spinning heel kick, hurt two on Apex, uh, five, Death Valley Driver, three, six, hurt two, um, into the turnbuckle, he's going to roll up instead, knee to the midsection, one, five, Apex reverses it, hits a gladiator pile driver, three, hurt two, uh, big slam, two, one, hurt two, uh, three, into the ropes, uh, he's going to roll up instead, 
Uh, four overhead toss, two that will work, uh, but no, it won't. Shane reverses it on level one, hits a backbreaker, choice E. Gonna go for the agility. This will work on an 11 or less, and it does. Apex rolls the five. He is in trouble, and we are gonna roll on the manager interference chart as Diva tries to interfere. Uh, rolls an eight. Your manager attacks the opponent. Roll disqualification four. No DQ. Uh, adding one for the pin there. If there's no disqualification, the opponent fights off the take, throws your manager out of the ring, then attacks your opponent. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Uh, so we'll say that Shane bumps Diva off the ropes. He's not going to throw her out of the ring. Uh, and there it is. Eye for eye two. Eight is the target. No, nine. Or no, ten. Sorry. Kick out there. Shane uh, hits eye for eye again. The target nine. The roll of four. So Shane able to beat Apex with eye for eye. And Diva is frustrated, delivering another loss to uh, the big man Apex. Um, has Shane put himself in line for a title shot? We will find out. Uh, and we'll be right back with our big main event. Stay tuned. We are back, and it is time for our main event. Uh, Vizier shocks the crowd. We haven't seen him in a while. He's been injured, but he shocks the crowd by coming out in the corner of Demon Godsend. And uh, Diva is out. She's still smarting from the injustice uh, that she feels was the last match. Uh, but she comes out with Titan Power for this Interplanetary Championship match. Uh, Titan Power's been a pretty solid champion. He... Uh, he uh, won the title, I believe. I would have to look back at my records, but I believe he won it from Shane. Uh, so big, 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 big person to to win it off of. And uh, here we go. All right. Titan Power will be red. Demon Godsend will be blue. And Titan Power is going to start things off with a, a big right hook. But Demon Godsend reverses it uh, with an arm drag. Uh, that hurts uh, Titan Power. Uh, series of elbows, two, six, dazed, one. Uh, running clothesline, but it's an agility move. Titan Power has the agility. And uh, into the turnbuckle tosses Demon Godsend, but he rolls low. Uh, he moves out of the way, and Titan Power goes crashing outside of the ring. He's going to roll on the outside of the ring chart. Rolls a six, uh, smashes Demon Godsend into the announce table, and he'll have to roll his disqualification, which is a five. He is not disqualified. He gets to roll on level three. Um, not going to throw him out of the ring. Going to roll up. Headbutt two, choice A. Uh, going to toss Demon Godsend into the ropes. He's got a C12, so big move. Titan power, uh, death jump, climbing up to the top. Demon Godsend has a B. The roll is a nine. Blasts you with a flying clothesline. Titan Power rolls on level three. There's Hanging Judge. Three is the target. Twelve is the roll. So big kick out there. Uh, Titan Power following that up, but going up again to the death jump. Death jump B, seven. And... Um that is another big flying clothesline off the top. Titan Power following it up with smash into ring post. Whoa. Add one, six, hurt two, uh, five, sidewalk slam three, four, hurt two. Uh, into the turnbuckle goes Demon Godsend. Again, he's got a B, and the roll is an eight, so smash by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two. Uh, Hurricane Rana, agility move, but uh, Demon Godsend reverses it on level one. One with an arm drag. Dazed one, uh, three, kick to midsection, two, four, Titan Power, two, uh, Hurricane Rana reverses an agility move. It will work. Uh, Hurts two, uh, four, choice C. Gonna go for the agility move. This will work on a nine or less, and it does. Demon Godsend uh, is down, and there is Hanging Judge again. Here comes a distractor, a distraction by Vizier. Not able to do it, so this will uh, roll. The uh, target is five, and the roll is a four. So Titan Power defends the title with Hanging Judge against uh, the one and only 
demon godsend. Well, that's going to do it for now. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you want to keep up on all my GWF action, check out GWFpromoter.com because that is the first place I update any cards that I play, uh, followed by the Filsinger Games messages board and then uh, the Discord. Uh, but that is uh, where I do it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being here. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.